Jeff Arizona Hots Homestead. I'm back with another video. This time it's about my first flush in the winter. <laughs> Tune in, and everyone. Jeff Rose on the Hot Homestead. Today's video, I'll try to be brief. I want to talk about my first flush during the winter. So let's take a look at what I'm talking about. So, on my rain catchment, we've got some snow, and snow eventually melts. So, what happens is I don't know if you can hear it. My water. Melted snow is going in here and here and it's filling up my first flush. And on my first flush, I've got the valve open, so in theory it should just go right on through. But I forgot about something, and that is this. The stop that I have in there is designed to go up and to plug the top so that the water will eventually flow into the uh, water tanks. However, it just dawned on me. It also plugs this when it's sitting down in there. Now, this one wasn't so bad. This one was fine. Maybe because this bottle was, I don't know, somehow maybe that bottle was sitting in there just right. But these, I've already chipped away some of the ice, these were iced up. If they melted enough because the temperatures got warmer, then I could take this off. But it dawned on me, if I don't do anything about this, this whole thing is going to ice up. And I can already tell this block of ice is up to who knows how high. So, and same thing with this one. So two out of three are, are iced up. So far, the tube itself is not cracked. Not that anywhere I've been able to notice. So that's a good thing. So maybe I spotted it in time. So I took the caps off. So any further melting of the snow, hopefully it will just come right out. And I think going forward, the winter solution to this is because you know that it's going to freeze. It'd be nice to catch the water, but not at the expense of having to repair these first flushes every, every so often, every year or every couple years or whatever. So... My solution will be this. I will be taking the plug out and I could probably leave this on because now there's no stop and it just flows. However, what I've also learned is that if the water is flowing through here because it melted slowly and it's really cold, it might ice up a little bit inside this tube slowly and build an ice dam so I have to be cautious of that so my solution is let's just leave it open you can see the uh, water flowing right there so that's gonna be my solution that way if it does ice up in here at all and it backs up it's gonna flow out here and this is a little easier to repair than these big ones all the time. So what do you do during the winter on your first flush? Uh, you have to have a solution where they might ice up. So take the stop out, the plug out, and maybe even open up the clean out. See, I use these as clean outs. So I'm glad I got them now. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. You learn something every day living out here. Living off the grid, if it's not one thing, it's another. See you, bye, have fun.